everyone. So in my last video, I talked about possibly using a blind or a hide that I have here and I talked about having to fix it up. So I decided today maybe I would film me actually fixing it up. So I've got this bit of blinding here. Well, it needs quite a lot of work at the moment. I need to take away the old type that's there and put a new type up maybe change a few things around because there's actually two holes in there that I want to change into two different spots because they kind of don't work with where I want to take photos. Uh, one thing of course, I do have my camera with me because, well, just in case. And then I brought some stuff with me, a uh, saw, another new top, a uh, hammer and some nails and also a knife to cut away the old top. So I'm just going to see how this actually ends up turning out, but uh, yeah. I really want to do this just so that I can be ready for next time. The weather's, uh, well, overcast today, so it doesn't really matter um, about anything coming in that much right now. So I thought, while it's overcast, it'd be the best time to come and do this now because when the light's good, I don't want to be messing with that. So yeah, let's just get into fixing this up and I can kind of show you things a little bit and show you where I'm going to go with this. I'm just going to cut away this bit of top here at the moment just so that I can get rid of most of this and then go inside and basically arrange how I want to do things. Because once I've got this done, I can kind of just, yeah, basically see how exactly how I want this because I really want to get this right and I want to make it work properly. And also by me putting a new tire prop that will help with uh, weather, so when it's raining I want to be able to be in here without getting wet. So, and at the moment the tarp is just completely open in here, so I just want to cover that up. So let me just cut this all the way and then I can basically show you how I want to fix things up on the inside. got pretty much all the top away at the moment um, I've left a few bits behind just where I think it kind of works because it kind of has this really nice string effect which still adds to the camouflage so one nice thing about this is there's still a nice camouflage netting here that works really well um, so it looks good on the other side and that's one really good thing about this uh, the one thing I'm wanting to change though is there's this hole here but the problem is it's too much on the one side. I do get a nice view, but the problem is this tree that's on the left here is just in the way. And what I basically want to do is move the hole um, basically to this side here, cut out a bit here, and then I'll just use uh, my tarp to cover that area back up again. Um, or I can actually have this whole thing open as a, as a long window. That should actually be okay. Most things will, won't really see me here anyway. And then I also have another opening on this side. And that one is actually quite big, which is really good. So this one shouldn't really be a problem. I'm, I'm trying, I'm not going to try and cover that one up. So my aim really is just to put the top up correctly so I can cover all these areas here, make a nice roofing and try and get this as covered as nicely as possible but I think it can turn out quite well I'm just hoping that it will end up actually being waterproof I mean with it being a brand new type it should be really good so far I'm, I'm hearing a lot of small birds around I don't see anything on the water or anything uh, but that will will be great if I do get to take a little break and just go and take some photos uh, but as of now there's nothing out there so I'm just going to keep going with uh, getting my tarp up now and start covering this up. But I think this could turn out to be really cool and when I get to use it properly I think it's going to really help with hiding out here and stuff so yeah we're just going to have to see how this ends up looking and I really hope it does actually work out.
I thought it would be nice with a little break right now. Um, getting a little bit tired, worn out from getting things in order and putting, tidying things a little bit and hammering some uh, trees and parts together. And then after that I can put the tarp up. But while I'm here, um, I just thought I'd let you guys know because most of you already know that I've been shooting with uh, Canon 70 Mark II and my 300mm and also my X-T3 uh, for landscape photography. And right now I'm actually testing out the Canon 1DX Mark II. I've heard some great things about it and I just thought, you know what, I really want to try it out. It could be a really good camera, especially for wildlife. It's got some really great um, features on this. It's really fast. Uh, probably one of the fastest cameras I've actually seen with focusing. It's quite amazing. But uh, if it goes well, I will be keeping it and I'll be using it to replace my 7D Mark II and it'll actually be replacing my Fuji X-T3. So this I'll be using pretty much for everything. And I do need a camera that I can rely on for everything else that I'm doing because I'm shooting weddings and portraits and other things as well. Uh, I know it's only 20 megapixels, but it's actually good enough. And even on a print, 20 megapixels is more than enough. So I'm gonna be testing this out for a while. Hopefully it does work out and hopefully it does a good job. If not, if I don't really feel like it's going to get me anywhere, I might actually end up going to the Canon EOS R. Um, but for now, I'm just going to test this for a while and see what happens. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to sit here for a little bit, see if anything does fly past. At the moment, it's really quiet. But it'll be nice to at least get one little shot while I take a break. Probably not going to happen. Um, but otherwise then I'm just gonna go and put the tarp over and try and get it into a good enough position and place it in such a way that it will work for me to be under the weather when it's raining and stuff so that I can actually be under there without getting wet obviously I can wear a rain jacket and stuff but it is nice having that little extra protection um, so I'll put it into place and then hammer some nails into parts just to keep it there but uh, yeah, I think this is gonna turn out to be quite a nice little hide. The last person who had it was actually using it for shooting birds. And yeah, that's not what I'm here for. I wanna take photos of birds as they come past and I'm not trying to get rid of them. So I think it'll be really nice to use this as a photo hide. And I hope to bring out some really good videos in there eventually. One great thing about there being two different sides of it, so the one hole that goes out to that direction I'll use for when it's mornings because the sunlight is shining on that side. And then if I'm in there during the afternoon, I have the second hole which will be basically facing out that direction. So yeah, hopefully it'll turn out to be pretty good, but I'm just gonna have to see how this turns out. I think I'm done with this. I've quite got quite a lot of it up there and nailed down now. It's quite good. It's really sturdy at the moment, which is really nice. And it seems to look really good in here. Obviously, uh, it's a little bit dark, but uh, it's at least perfect for coming out and getting some photos here. I think it'll work out really well. And then I have that hole here. So I think what I'm gonna do next time is I'm gonna bring a little stool in here so I can sit in here and then I'll also have my camera on a tripod just to make it easier because then I can basically sit here and wait for something to happen that's always the best option so hopefully when I do come in here next time there will be something good obviously when you're in a hide sometimes you can stay in here for hours on end but it really helps to have something that you feel a little bit more comfortable in and that's basically what I wanted to do. I just got rid of all the gunk and the old stuff and now it's really good and it's even raining right now 
and it's really dry under here which is perfect it's exactly what I wanted so yeah I think this is gonna definitely turn out to be pretty good um, obviously there's not much else I can show I just wanted you guys to kind of just see me doing this process and at least having something to show for it because at the moment I've been really busy there's a lot going on with kids I've been going to weddings to take photos um, so it's been really hard to even make a video at the moment and I really want to go out and get some landscape shots as well but with me changing cameras at the moment I might just have to wait a week or two but we'll have to see otherwise I will come out and get some wildlife shots or something I'm actually hoping to go up into the mountain and camp out up there as well so yeah let's just see how this goes obviously there's a lot of things I want to show you guys and yeah I'm, I'm living here now and there's a lot to go through there's all these different seasons and I've come at a good time within being in the middle of the summer so I can get prepared for everything and winter is going to be absolutely interesting but anyway if you're new to the channel and you're watching this please make sure to subscribe there's a lot of other things coming and make sure to watch some of my other videos as well because I wouldn't exactly call this video exciting but yeah for now I'll see you all next time